Hello everyone. Welcome to scardia.com. I am your educator Dr. Lara M. Munir and today into the we are going to delve into the fascinating world of hematology and discuss about anemias. There are various types of anemias and our major topic of discussion today are the hyperproliferative anemias. Let me give you an outline of how we are going to proceed with this lecture. We are going to start off by defining what is what are the hyperproliferative anemias. What are the various uh, important markers that have to be present for the defi definition of the uh, hyperproliferative anemias to be met? And then what are the various conditions that can lead to hyperproliferative anemias? Among them, the most common one is the iron deficiency anemia. So this is the basic topic of discussion in the hyperproliferative anemia discussion. We are going to discuss the iron deficiency anemia in great lengths. To start off, we have to revise the basics. Uh, we are going to understand how the body um, uh, utilizes iron. What is the iron metabolism? How does the iron move from the gut? And what are the major players in that lead to storage of the iron? How the body utilizes the iron storage pool? A very thorough understanding of the iron regulation by the body is imperative to understand the iron uh, deficiency anemias and the various markers which we utilize to diagnose the iron deficiency anemia. We are going to discuss the iron metabolism with the help of iron cycle. We are going to discuss how the transferrin moves iron, what is ferritin, what is its role in the iron metabolism. Then uh, what goes wrong uh, that leads to iron deficiency anemia? What are the various stages uh, of iron deficiency anemia? And how do the various markers give us an indication of the different stage? After the thorough discussion of iron deficiency anemia, the discussion of the signs and symptoms, uh, what are the labs which we have to understand and a treatment, uh, what are the treatment options available, we are going to touch on the other types of hyperproliferative anemias which are uh, very much less common as compared to iron deficiency anemia but it is important to understand how do they develop to, under to, to number one differentiate them from iron deficiency anemia and treat them differently from an iron deficiency anemia state. In these, the, we are going to uh, discuss the anemia of inflammation, either acute or chronic inflammation, or uh, we also term it as an anemia of chronic disease. What is the pathophysiology behind this condition? And how do we, uh, on a clinical level and on a la laboratory level, differentiate this anemia from an iron deficiency anemia? Then we are going to move on to the chronic kidney disease anemia. What goes wrong, and wrong at the level of the kidney that leads to a development of uh, normocytic anemia? Anemia in a hypometabolic stage, for example, in a nutritional or an endocrine deficiency will be discussed and how do they lead to development of an hyperproliferative anemia. And eventually we are also going to talk about their uh, differentiation at the laboratory level and also how do we treat these hyperproliferative states. So to watch this complete lecture along with thousands of other medical lectures on any area of your interest, be it the basic sciences or the clinical side of medicine, Log on to scardia.com and start your free trial today.